Why hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. I have slumbered and awoken. Chantal went live again. The world is going around as per usual. But with that being said, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say again. I guess, shall we? <laughs> Boots and I pray for your anger to end. <laughs> I don't really feel sick. Just this, just the cough is lingering. Don't worry about it. I do go to the bathroom a lot, but I'm okay. I eat salt and I drink a lot of liquid. If that's not mortifying, I don't know what is. Pneumonia, I don't think so. When I had pneumonia, I couldn't even breathe when I was just sitting down. It was like constant wheezing. Which has been her entire existence here this past week. <laughs> Why she doesn't see it, couldn't tell ya. It was bad. I got my laundry, but I'm not getting laundry done here ever again. It's like super expensive. How am I gonna, long am I gonna stay in Thailand? Mm, I'm not sure exactly how long. I don't, they, I think they charge by item. I can't tell you when my return ticket is. I had the price sheet, I know, but... <sighs> I had too many safari shirts. What were you overcharged for? I don't know if I was. I don't I don't know. They probably didn't, but... I was talking about how you don't pick up your feet when you walk. I think they're running out of things to talk about. Well, yeah, do you picture them having an intellectual conversation about anything important? Says the woman that shot herself on live stream yesterday. Glass houses. <laughs> no, she's in raspberry. Can we pull a piece soon? I don't know. I feel like I'm no fun. I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like going to a temple. The only thing I feel like doing is the conjuring thing. Which you were going to be waiting to do that with your man. Where's your man? <laughs> I have too much anxiety without Salah to do anything. Yeah, I kind of do. It's kind of disappointing, but that's okay. Um, I don't think he's sleeping right now, but he's busy. Intermittently busy. We were video chatting actually just before my life. Okay, you were video chatting him, but he also didn't mention that he was going to be doing something before he hung up. Okay, yeah, because that makes sense. Would it, I, I can't talk about who I would date and who I wouldn't date, because I'm married. So I chose the man, and he's mine forever. Why do I have a feeling that that's not going to age very well? <laughs> Just a gut feeling. I, the reason I came here, is to be alone in a hotel and just do what I want. Okay? Yeah, I love 90 Day Fiance. It makes me laugh. You know the path most pathetic, well, I don't, the couple I can't stand is Sarper and that other girl. And for some unknown reason, Chantal doesn't get the irony about the fact just because she wasn't on the show, um, asking somebody to marry you on WhatsApp right after you guys just met, not even in person, completely normal, but like you know, this other couple, oh God, it's completely pathetic and sad. Ma'am? Again, glass houses. They both freaking have the worst plastic surgery I've ever seen. Why do I have a feeling it's because she can't afford the plastic surgery? They can get pretty pricey. Like, if people want to spend money on plastic surgery, let them. I mean, it might not be my thing, but it might be somebody's. Yeah, I said it. There are no fears and never modded. This is true, and you probably never will. I'm kidding. The audacity, I'm telling you, even though it's not that big of a thing, imagine reading that comment out loud and being like, well, yeah, you probably never will. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just, and you wonder why your channel is going to absolute trash. I wonder why. I didn't like Turkish coffee when I, actually the first date I went on with Salah, we went to the park and he got me a Turkish coffee and it was really grainy and thick. How did cheese and pineapple? Do you ever miss Canada? Um, I don't really get, I never think on a daily basis or, Regular basis, I want to go back to Canada soon. So no, I miss my family, but taking that trip back to Canada doesn't appeal to me whatsoever right now. Yeah, the weather I do kind of, but not, I don't miss the winter. I know people think I should go to the doctor, but I don't think. I think it, it'll be all right for now. If it doesn't improve and gets like worse, then yeah. So yeah, um, I don't really know what to talk about. I'm just existing right now, honestly. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah, I need to focus. Like what? <laughs> There's so much about my life I don't tell you guys. I have things going on that I have to take care of, that I have to do. But I just don't ever want to do it. Or I just can't organize my time right. Oh yes, you know, Chantal's super busy, super packed, super fulfilling schedule that consists of sealing and eating and using the bathroom and sealing again and eating some more and complaining about reaction channels and then sealing and napping and also eating again and then sleeping. I know. So sad that it's all booked up. Yeah, right, Laura? Like, you just have so much to do, you're overwhelmed, and you just want to sleep. And maybe it will magically get done. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, I know it won't, but... Isn't this such a weird concept to you, people? Like, <laughs> we're all just, like, chatting. 
like via I'm talking to like a phone and there's like tons of people on it and it's interesting like you know when am I gonna go home I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna stay longer or if I'm gonna go home I know it's mysterious but don't worry it's nothing major well she says not to worry about it I guess I girl no <laughs> well it's kind of hard not to bring like I'm not bringing it up it's just you guys are gonna wonder why I'm like you know why I'm here etc Hey, Tara. I mean, the cover story is, is that you're here for a vacation, right? I swear, like, within a week or two of her coming here, she kind of forgot her own cover story about why she's here. Um, last time I checked in that, we were told you were here because you wanted to be here for a vacation. Quote, quote. Well, you think you know Cuban cake slice. That's the thing. Yes, I really, really love Salah. If, believe me, like if I don't love, if I didn't love him, I wouldn't be around. Like, that's really important. The million dollar question: Does he feel the same way about you? Mm hmm. Everybody wants to know. Santa said there are healthy options. Santa said this has that many calories. Santa said. Santa said. Santa says. I swear, you react to her. She has a problem with you. If you make original content based around her content, she has a problem with you. I love that for her. I love how every single channel that makes videos about her gets so under her skin, and I love that for her the most. My plans for tomorrow, um, I don't know. It depends how I feel. Big Korean already mentioned the outside scale, Lizzie. Now you just reminded them to remind me. I have no idea why she's so anti, like, this scale in particular. Because it would prove everyone right. Like, no, guys, it didn't tamper with the scale at all. No, of course not, right? Like, any sort of, like, proof that Chantal will go to to prove a point, it's that scale. Do you honestly think if she didn't, you know, weigh herself previously to see how much it is before she showed it on live stream, um, if it was a good number, do you not think she would be waddling so fast down there to be like, guys, see, I told you so. Look at my weight. I told you I wasn't lying. But magically, all of a sudden, with this with this scale, guys, I just don't feel like doing it right now. Sorry. Just remind me later. I'll do it later. Very interesting. No, Tuk Tuk's are not cheap. They try to get you to pay a lot of money. With the bolt, you can schedule it, and it's a set price. They tell you what it is. And in Tuk Tuk, they're like 500 baht. I'm like, no. Now, where I live, public transportation really isn't, like, a thing. But 500 baht, for anybody that was curious, is uh, $14.99 USD. So, it seems pretty reasonable to me. It's like, I'm not paying more than... You're going to pay more in a tuk-tuk. Let's say the bolt would have cost me 160 okay? And I asked the tuk-tuk driver, how much for, you know, 500 baht. No, I say, the bolt will cost me 160 It's like, no, 162 not much. So then I'll say, okay, if I really want to take a tuk-tuk, I know I'm going to have to take a loss. But I'll offer like two fifty. Okay, so Chantal is haggling with the tuk tuk drivers now. Okay, well that was something I wasn't expecting. But it's Chantal, I'm not surprised really. I didn't soil myself again, and I was clean about it. I was sick. It's not my fault. Something flew in my eye when I was in the washroom. Like, what the heck? Every single day, every single live stream, some, just like one thing happens to her. <laughs> oh, I love that for her the most, even though I hope that her eye is okay. Yeah, so I wash my hands. Bit jacked. <laughs> I will, you'll see. I'm gonna be jacked one day. I know you don't believe it, but. I'm telling you. I'm telling you! Can you do a trailer for season four? No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't have, like, many friends that I keep in touch with off of Wine. But I do have a couple. But mostly, I communicate mostly with my mom, like, my family. And, you know, Scylla. And, yeah. I have a small circle. I just have like trust issues, so to meet strangers for me is like really iffy and risky. If I don't have cheese at least every other day, I freak out. I love cheese. Cheese withdrawal, for sure. Ow, I just cracked my shoulder. My shoulder just cracked itself. 
I might get off of here though soon because I've been off for two hours. Yeah, whenever she says that, it usually goes down pretty quick, so I'll be jumping around, and also I already have been jumping around. You have not missed anything, I promise. And also, I'm pretty sure whenever she went to go use the bathroom and something went into her eye, quote, quote, um... I think she went to actually go rake weeds if you catch my drift. <coughs> Order a big portion of... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we could. A little sample of what you guys are missing out on, by the way. <laughs> it's just food and talk, more food, reminiscing about food and food. You are welcome. And also here, I wanted to kind of demonstrate about how much she's rocking back and forth and also in pitch, you know, blackness. So, um... She raked a lot of weeds, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> but, um, nice to hang with you guys. I might be back sometime. Thank you to all of you here. Yeah, it means a lot, and I'll see you next time. You too, teardrop, everyone. Bye. Well, that was something. Don't know what that something is, but it was something. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.